The common perception of Beethoven's handwriting being messy and careless and especially hard to read is really fundamentally misleading. It's quite wrong. As soon as you take trouble to come to grips with it and check it note by note, you can actually see that he's taken an extraordinary amount of trouble to make sure that every tiny detail is there as the composer as he intended it to be. It is the least one can expect that a composer of Beethoven's stature expects and demands and deserves patience to have the time to look with a magnifying glass very closely at what he's written. What you're thankful for with Beethoven is that he has written it. Solche Ausgaben wie jetzt diese Bärenreiter Urtextausgabe ist insofern wichtig, als dass sie mir die Möglichkeit gibt, sozusagen nur mit dem nur in Anführungszeichen mit dem Kern zu arbeiten, mit dem Urfundament, mit dem, was der Komponist in diesem Fall Beethoven mir hinterlassen hat, als Aufgabe, damit zu arbeiten. Und das ist in Reinform eine, ein, natürlich ein Geschenk, aber es ist auch nur der Anfang. Here is a place in the Razumovsky Quartet, number one, Opus 59, number one, in the slow movement. We check all the notes from the original manuscript. Here's Beethoven's beautiful facsimile of Beethoven's autograph manuscript. And everything is fine until you get to this note here, where all the editions, we've always heard a C at the beginning of this bar. But you look at Beethoven's manuscript and it's clear as a pike star, absolutely clear, plain, that is a D. Is that really right? Did he make a mistake? And then I thought, actually, no, that must be right. Das ist so ein bisschen wie noch mehr Pfeffer oder so, mehr oder? Intensität mehr einfach. Intensität, mehr Dramatik. Und ist schon auch eben eine Öffnung hin zu einer neuen Welt. So, it seems to me that no doubt that that D is the correct note. And the C was just a mistake in the first edition. This is a place in the middle of the choral finale, where we've just come out of the big fugata at the end of the Turkish march. A very simple passage. All you've got is the horns going, boo -boo, boo -boo, boo -boo, boo -boo. I thought I must have another check, and I looked at this. Astonishingly, that isn't what we're used to hearing. Boo -boo, boo -boo, boo -boo. Exactly the same as the previous four bars. But that's not what Beethoven has written, because there's some extra ties there. And then, boop, boop. Jonathan came to me and said, Simon, you won't believe this, but this is not meant to be the same. Each time this rhythm comes, it's the first time. The second time is not the same. It loses its way. It goes, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. And I thought, what is this that we've all missed for the last 150 years? I could not believe it. And he said, I know you won't believe me. So here's a photograph of the manuscript. And, I, oh my goodness, now I really discovered something frightening. 
the sense of responsibility that, have we really got to play this? It's going to be very startling indeed. And immediately this passage became something different. It was as though you had cleaned a painting. What may seem to be a little detail suddenly puts it off balance and it makes the next... The next passage all the more extraordinary and triumphant. Mm -hmm.